Hi there, Thrill Seekers, this is uh, Kenny here with another basic light wave tutorial for you. This time we're looking at envelopes and how they're used to control things like uh, lights and motion, intensities, colors, and so forth. Envelopes are a big part of light wave and can be used to control most things in animations. So let's start off by doing something uh, simple and quite common. We'll create an anti collision light, the little blinking lights that you get on aircraft, uh, spacecraft, tops of buildings, and so forth. And we'll show you how to create that and animate it using envelopes. So let's have our point light first. Let's call it collision light. There we have it. Now we're going to the properties of the light. You get your usual stuff: intensity, fall off, lens flares, uh, the name. We can choose all sorts of things here. Notice that most things in Lightwave come with this E key next to them. This is the envelope key, and it's used for creating the the graphs that will control certain items during the animation. So let's control the intensity with an envelope. Now here's our envelope screen. As you can see it's basically a graph with the intensity or whichever other uh, parameter you've chosen to control and the time frame. So you can see we have our 60 second standard animation here, 60 second time frame. You can see the light is set to a 50% uh, intensity value. So it's basically going to stay at 50% right the way through the animation. What I want to do is set a brief flash for a few frames and then off for maybe 30 frames and then repeat. So that'll give us like a brief flash every second, as you would get with an anti-collision light. So if I right click, I can drag and select any point. I've also got a point selector tool here if I want to be more precise. But you can, if you right click, you can drag and select multiple points or any single point. And let's set that value to zero. So the light's now effectively off. What we want to do now is create keyframes as we would in any animation. So let's select the Add Keys button. And by left clicking, I can add keyframes. So let's add one at 100% and one at 0% again. So there you go. If I right click and select, I can set both these to exactly zero. Right click, drag and set this to exactly 100. And there you have it folks. Off, on, off, and then off for the rest of the animation. Now what we want to do here is have this actually repeat every 30 frames. In order to do that we have to create one more keyframe at 30. And I'll set that to 0 as well. Now the reason everything went all uh, curvy here is because it's set to splines use splines to try and smooth out the motion. That would be fine and if we were animating the camera or something else like that, it would try and make the movement much more smooth. What we're looking for here though is something much more mechanical. So what I'll do is I'll right click and select all the points and I will select in the curve selector here, stepped. And there you go. We get basically a straight step. I could have selected linear. As you can see it basically draws join the dots straight lines. We'll go with step that gives the kind of effect we want on for a couple of frames then off. Now, in order to set this to repeat at the end keyframe here, we have our pre and post behavior here. If we set that to repeat, there we go. It will repeat every 30 frames, on, off, on, off, on, off. And the job's done. As long as uh, this is set, this will go for as long as your animation is. I can make this 3,000 frames and this will repeat without any further interference from me. Now I, want to also, I also want to add another part to this, just to make the light visible in animations, uh, the light source itself. So what I'm going to do here is, on the intensity here, I'm actually going to copy this graph by right clicking here and selecting it. And what we'll now go into is activate lens flares. As you can see our GL preview gives us a lens flare. And go to the lens flare options, and as you can see again the E key on most of the things that we can animate. And what I want to do is change the flare intensity. That actually controls how bright the flare is. As you can see, we want to animate that as well. So we'll go into the envelope and we get our envelope screen again. Now this time, because we've copied the intensity from the light source, we can right click and paste. And that's it, the job's done. We can close that and as you can see, the intensity is now gone and we have our keyframes. If I now preview this, flash, flash, Flash. There you go. Simple as that to create a collision light. And you can set the graph to whatever you like. You could have it go on smoothly, 
or uh, as I've done with this, just a brief flash. And it's that simple to use the envelopes in Lightwave to control light sources and so forth. So I could have that set to anything. I could have it not repeating and just have it come on at certain times in the animation if it was an engine, say, uh, firing or you could even use it if you're controlling it to simulate gunfire, things like that. You parent that light source to whatever your object is, set the envelopes and it's done. We could now clone this light and everything, all the parameters of this light would be repeated. So if I now move my second light, ah, we're in the middle of an animation of course, but you'll see they both flash. There we go. And I would just then distribute them around my spacecraft or my building or whatever. And the job would be done.